Showing the logo and everything because you're trying to sell them. Yes. Uh -huh. Yep. Uh, RobertReavesRadio.com. Store button. You buy your coffee mug. Yes, I, I do point it that way for a reason. Yes, I do. I'm drinking pumpkin spice coffee. It's pretty good. Not too bad. Makes me feel very Halloween y. That doesn't sound right. Let's go like. There we go, AJ Castillo, Yorari, 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 Yorari. Good morning, Double R Radio, 849, October the 15th, bang to bang to halfway through October already. Um, I was talking about this earlier that I'm enjoying my pumpkin spice coffee and my brand new Double R Radio morning show mug. Woohoo! Really, man, you should try that pumpkin spice coffee, but my coffee show mug enhances it that much more. It does. Good morning, Chad. I got that to Josie Rodriguez Mendoza. Good morning, Josie. I'm in Mary Lou Galan. Ga yeah, Galan. I said that right, Mary Lou. I, I think I always go through that once in a while. I forget, but Mary Lou Galan. I got that right. Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's Thursday morning it is. Stretch run towards the weekend. Uh, bars here in San Antonio have been given the green light to open up again early as next week. I mean, I think everybody's gotten used to partying, getting drunk at home, but hey, man. You know, it's awesome, and I feel I feel bad for the bars. But when I'm driving around, I see a bar closed, and, uh, and I go, Pobrecitos! And, uh, but it uh, looks like they're going to be opening up again, and, and I'm happy for them. I really, really am. Anyways, I really don't have too much to talk about, but I'm going to talk anyway, just for the hell of it. There we go. So, uh, <laughs> good morning, Chad. I got on to Michelle that I mean this, Double R Radio sponsor, who sent me a couple of news stories. I appreciate it, because... Uh, she figured I had nothing to talk about, which I don't. So, it's all good. Good morning, Chad. I got up to Double R Radio sponsor, Dora Peña Rodriguez, Garfield, Texas. Good morning. Double R Radio sponsor, Cindy Martinez Hernandez, San Antonio, Texas. There we go. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Uh, let's see here. What do I have to talk about? Uh, no, I don't want to talk about that. Um, there we go. We can talk about this. Check this out. Southwest Airlines, a man in a Trump gear. Let me, let me rephrase this. Let me, I'm not saying that right. Southwest Airlines, a man dressed up in Trump gear attire was booted off of the Southwest flight for removing his mask to eat. Well, they bring the guy food. How do you eat? If, if you don't take off your mask, I don't care what this guy's wearing. Right is right and wrong is wrong. How, how are you supposed to eat on a plane if you don't take off your mask? You can papa. Right, <laughs> Papa. Well, you get a straw and put a little hole in front of your mouth. How does this work? I don't understand this. I think it was more because he was wearing Trump, you know, T-shirt, Trump cap, or whatever the case may be. I don't know. It doesn't make sense why you would get thrown off a plane for taking off your mask when you've been served food. Doesn't make sense. But oh well, it wasn't me, so I'm okay with it. And there we go. Also, check this out. Another crazy story. Uh, good morning, Chad. I don't want to miss anybody here. Let me see here. There we go. Good morning, Chad. I got that double R radio sponsor, Cynthia Gonzalez Ramirez, Houston, Texas. Double R radio sponsor, Deborah Camarillo, Anaheim, California. Good morning, mi Califas girly. También Silvia Caballero, the Valley in the Casa. He said, Mira, Mira, Robert Rivas. Good morning. Un abrazo to you. All right. Always need a hug. There we go. Let me see here. Don't want to miss anybody. Primo, double R radio sponsor, Mission City Hot Shot Delivery Service. Roger Rivas, good morning, Primo. How we doing? Anyways, don't want to miss anybody here. I think we're good to go. Go up. There we go. Go down. Sylvia Solis as well. Good morning, Sylvia. Anyways, también este, we're good to go right there. Check this out. Another crazy story. Stevie Wonder. I didn't know this. Stevie Wonder has released two new songs on Motown, and now he's leaving Motown after 60 years. I never realized that Stevie Wonder was still with Motown. Heck, I didn't even know he was still alive. Um, on a sad note, Stevie Wonder, who has been with Motown for 60 years, on a sad note, um, he's tried getting there several times, but 
he can never find a place. I, I don't know what's going on, but he's going to have to figure that one out. Actually, he doesn't have to worry about that anymore. Good morning, John. I'm going to have to Gloria Rodriguez. Good morning. Good morning. Diana Cáceres. Buenos dias. Uh, let's see here. What else is going on? What, what's this? I don't know what this is. There we go. What's this? Oh, there we go. I got it. Check this out, Florida. A man dressed up as the Grim Reaper went to a Florida beach to warn beachgoers to wear their mask. That's kind of scary and really kind of weird. Everybody at the beach, they're in their bikinis, they're in their trunks, they're swimming, and then you got this character all dressed in black with that little thing, what do you call that thing he's got on the side? Dressed up as a Grim Reaper, Grim Reaper, Grim Reaper, the Grim Reaper, uh, warning people, you got to wear your mask. So there you go. Kind of weird that now is them. A lot of clothing stores out there for women, uh, they're not selling two-piece bikinis. They're selling three-piece. The bottom, the top, and the mask. Now it's three-piece. There you go. It's all good. Uh, let me see here. Don't want to miss anybody here. Uh, there we go. Check this out. A California woman was dreaming about eating her engagement ring and woke up finding out that she did eat her engagement ring. Man. Now she said she's going to wait 24 hours to get it back, if you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> man before that thing processes there you go good morning Jenna. i got down to the ever so political michelle cohen who says vote 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 you see michelle i went to bat for you vote there we go that's what michelle says good morning Jenna. i got out to brenda pat lackey good morning good morning judson rockets and out you know i was driving by judson high school yesterday it's not the same no more it doesn't look the same i understand changes i mean you know my class 78 where are we at 2020 Come on, 88, 98, 2008, 40 years ago, 50 years ago. Man, I feel old. Well, anyways, passed by Judson High School yesterday, and I just kind of parked in the parking lot, and I reflected. I go, man, I remember that spot right there. Man, we beat up a teacher. Man, I miss those times. And then I saw a spot over there. Man, I remember there. That's where I beat, beat the crap out of a kid right there. Man, I know he was in a wheelchair. It's okay. The odds were in my favor. I miss those times. I really do. Really, man, I do. I, I miss high school to an extent. Would I go back? No, not going to do it. Now, let's see here what else is going on. Ba, 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 da, ba, da, ba, da. Um, let's see, I talked about that. There we go. Oh, check this out. St. Louis, Missouri, a man who was drinking a beer at a St. Louis bar failed to realize while he was smoking a cigarette, drinking his beer, there was a guy in back of him robbing the bar. <laughs> <laughs> the guy's at the bar drinking a beer, smoking a cigarette, looking at the Houston Astros, right? Meanwhile, in back of him, this guy with a gun pulled out <laughs> pulled out a gun and started robbing the place. So the guy never knew what the hell happened. That's crazy, right? He must have been pretty drunk for that. Good morning, John. I got out to Anthony Hernandez. Good morning, good morning, good morning. There we go. Let me see here. What else do I have? I think that's it, man. I think that's all I got. Um, I was talking about this earlier, just in case you don't know. Um, for the past week, um, I, I, I found a small, like a, my muscle underneath my calf, but above my ankle, I've got a small knot the size of a quarter. And that baby, man, it gives me some pain sometimes. So I've been putting some, what I've been putting on there, I'll tell you right now. I've been putting some Asper cream, and um, I've been taking some um, ibuprofen to help with the pain. But the kicker here is that... Everybody is giving me ideas how to get rid of the pain. Um, as I was saying earlier, somebody called in and told me, Robert, I was listening to your morning show about your pain on your leg. I can help you. And I go, tell me, dude, what do I need to do? He goes, you got to go check the air in the tires. I said, the air in what tires? The air in the tires in your car. What does that have to do with my leg, dude? He goes, no, nah, man, trust me, it works. If you go check the air in the tires in your car, your leg's going to feel better. I don't think so. Then somebody else came and told me, hey, dude, what you got to do is drink lots of tequila. Lots of it. Yeah, man, but then I'm going to have a hangover. Come on, dude. Then somebody else tells me, dude, if you take a Viagra, you're going to feel better. Yeah, I'm going to feel better there, but what about other places? I'm not going to feel better. Come on, dude. I'm, come on, man. It's not about Viagra. Then somebody else told me, Dude, what you got to do is have somebody tie you to the bumper of their car and have them drag you around San Antonio for a couple of hours. You, you Believe me, it's going to work. I'm not going to do that. 
And last but not least, somebody just a while ago told me, I know what you have to do, Robert. I know what you have to do to feel better in your leg. And I go, what's that? He goes, what you need to do is put some water in your bathtub, boiling. I said, huh? Boiling water in your bathtub. And I said, then what? He goes, then what you do, you get some carrots, some papas, some celery, throw it in the boiling water, and then sit in the boiling water. You're going to feel awesome. I said, I don't know about feeling awesome, but I'm probably going to taste awesome. You're making me into caldo. I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to stick to what I'm doing right now. Um, I've got like a massager, and it helps my leg a little bit. I'm putting on some Asper cream. I'm putting on some ibuprofen, and then I'm, I'm, I'm watching TV. <laughs> that should do it. And as long as the Houston Astros are winning... The pain will go away. There we go. Let me see here. Don't want to miss anybody here. We're good to go. Anyways, let's get back to the morning show. Join me now. RobertRevisRadio.com. Simple. RobertRevisRadio.com. Let's get it going. The streets of Bakersfield. Good morning. How are we doing, everybody? Thursday morning it is. How about them Houston Astros, right? Like my cap? Pretty cool, right? Anyways, game five this afternoon around 3 or 4 o'clock. I may call in sick. I'm going to work for a while, but by 4 o'clock I'm coming in and I'm going to watch the game. No doubt. Crack open an ice-cold Michelob Ultra. By the way, be sure and order your Double R Radio Morning Show coffee mug. RobertRevisRadio.com. Just click on the store button and get your coffee mug. It enhances your coffee. It enhances your legs. It enhances it's the everything. It really does. Let's get back to the morning show. Join me now. RobertRevisRadio.com. Simple. RobertRevisRadio.com. Join me now. What are they? Ow. Oh. 